If you've ever wondered how long you can run your 12 volt refrigerator off of a lithium battery, stick with me in this video because we're going to find out. If you had a power outage or maybe you're going on a weekend camping trip or something, just how much battery do you need in order to run one of these refrigerators? This is the Iceco JP30. I'll be using this in the test. And this is the new Watt Cycle 314 amp hour smart mini battery. This battery is the same size and I believe weight as their previous battery which was the 12 volt 300 or 280 amp hour mini and it's just a lot of battery power in a small package. I think it's a perfect battery for these like small camping trips or home emergency type situations just to get you out of a jam. If you do the math on this, 314 amp hours at 12.8 volts, this is 4,019 watt hours. This one is the smart version, which it has Bluetooth, which is a huge plus. And if you just get uh, the free watt cycle app for your smartphone or tablet or something, you can monitor all the parameters. I've just got a 12 volt adapter here for the plug on the refrigerator. I'm doing this project in my garage and I'm in Arizona so the garage is pretty darn hot most of the summer currently or about 92 94 degrees and even at overnight the lowest I've seen lately on this thermometer was about 85 degrees or so and it's going to get up to maybe 110 in here over the course of this test if you do the math on it that's going to give you about 80 hours that's just over three full days. But this is a real world test and I have a feeling with the temperatures in this garage, this refrigerator is gonna be running most of the time. So it'll be interesting to see. So here's a look at the Watt Cycle app. I've got the 314 amp hour battery pulled up on here. The battery itself is 93 degrees, sitting at 13.4 volts. I've charged the battery already. It took about six hours on a 30 amp charger. <laughs> So it's a pretty large capacity battery in my opinion and currently we're not pulling any power. The best test that I've done previously on this refrigerator was it pulls about 50 watts when it's running or when the compressor first kicks up. And I'm going to start with it hot and this is going to include the cool down on the refrigerator. Let's plug that in. So we'll hit the power button. There we go. It's showing 86 degrees inside the refrigerator at the moment. That's just a little bit over 90 degrees. So we'll keep that in the bottom of the refrigerator. And this would be more efficient if I had it full. And I'm also going to do this test just with an empty refrigerator. Only paperwork in there and that thermometer. So right now it's pulling 40.5 watts. It's currently uh, 1030 and it's a Saturday morning. So maybe around Tuesday <laughs> if all goes well somewhere in that area. I'll keep monitoring this. I'll bring you back and we'll do a couple of checkups on it throughout the test. And we'll just see how long can we run a 12 volt refrigerator off of this Watt Cycle 12 volt 314 amp hour smart mini battery. All right, here we are 24 hours later. So we've completed one full day and uh, I've been seeing between 42, 45 watts whenever the refrigerator kicks on. Early in the morning, this is probably the coolest that the garage will be for the day, which is about 90 degrees. And I see it during the heat of the day or toward the end of the day, it's up to about 100. The refrigerator is empty, about 42 degrees there. So it fluctuates between about 36 Fahrenheit to 42, right in that area. It's doing really well. We're sitting at 93% after the first 24 hours, and it looks like this is going to take a long time and I did a little more math on it. It's gonna be just about four days if it continues to run at around 42 watts. 51 hours into the test now. 32 temperatures are staying the same on the refrigerator. In the garage at this point, it's about 95 degrees Fahrenheit. 13.3 volts on the battery. The refrigerator is off at this point and we're sitting at 85%. Day three, 72 hours into the test. Still quite toasty, about 97 or 98 degrees in the garage. The battery is still chugging right along. We've got 79%, 13.3 volts, 
13.3 volts and the battery is currently at 96.4 degrees Fahrenheit. And the fridge is showing 32 degrees. So we're on day five and I've had an unsuspected twist to this video. My large refrigerator in my kitchen and the freezer side of this refrigerator is no longer keeping the food froze solid. So I've unloaded that refrigerator until I can get that figured out. So in the meantime, I've moved the Iceco refrigerator into my kitchen along with the Watt Cycle 314 amp hour battery that I was using for the test for this video. And I'm plugged into that, running, still running the refrigerator off the battery. I've changed the settings on the refrigerator. It's showing minus two inside. I have it set for minus four, which is the coldest I can set this particular refrigerator. Because I've unloaded the residential freezer and put all our food and frozen stuff in this refrigerator and another portable refrigerator that I've had for years. They've saving the day in this situation. So this is a practical use for these uh, watt cycle lithium batteries. It's actually literally saving our bacon. Let me see. So we're currently showing about 12 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 10 Celsius set at that low setting and everything is staying froze solid. We're down to 59% on the battery capacity, 13.1 volts, and you can see the temperature here, 85.7, so a little bit cooler because we're no longer in that hot garage, which is about 78 degrees in my kitchen here. So we'll continue with this test, and we're still not even halfway used up on this battery, and this is day five, so it looks like we're going to get more than a week out of this. I get this refrigerator situation resolved. I'll put the refrigerator back to about 35 degrees or so and empty it and put it back out in the hot garage. For now here on day five, this is what we're looking at. It's now become a freezer instead of just a portable refrigerator and this watt cycle 314 amp hour mini smart battery. All right, I'm starting to lose track of the days now, but I think this is, well, it's day two of bringing it into the house and using the refrigerator as a freezer for my little refrigerator incident here. But this has been running, I believe, now six days. The app is showing we're at 39% now on the battery after six days, which is incredible. And everything inside the refrigerator is still froze solid. Well, here we are day seven. Been one full week. Been running this 12 volt refrigerator with the watt cycle battery. And I got to tell you, it was sure nice to have this up and running so I could store the food. Had to replace the refrigerator. The compressor went out on it and it was old refrigerator. So it wasn't worth trying to get it fixed. Anyway, I'm back in the garage. Got the uh, freezer is emptied again. And I brought the temperature back up to 35 degrees instead of minus four and here's where we sit on the battery at 29 percent we're down to 13 volts on the battery and about 95 degrees in the garage today one week so far so we still got 29 percent to go through as we continue this test So this test has been running for a full nine days now to the hour and it's really interesting. It's uh, ran a lot longer than I had projected it to run. We're still keeping about the same temp in the refrigerator. It's an empty refrigerator. At the moment it's just over 90 maybe 94 in the garage here. And here's what the battery app is showing for this watt cycle battery. We're down to 15% on the capacity and it's currently running pulling 43.3 watts. We're at 0 .004 difference between the four cells. So it does a good job of keeping the cells balanced. Uh, it's really hard to say, but maybe a day or two more. Okay, we've got an end result on this test trying to run this 12 volt portable refrigerator with the watt cycle 12 volt 314 amp hour lithium battery and it has shut off so we're at zero percent the total time was 10 days and about two hours within an hour or so of the actual time 
The voltage on the battery right now is 10.5 volts and we have a warning here. It shows a cell under voltage alarm and a pack under voltage alarm. So one of the cells drop below the settings on the battery and what's cool about this watt cycle app for this battery it actually does give you the individual cell voltages if you just click on the voltage then you can see the individual cell voltages so the low is 2.567 so very cool that was an interesting test in the garage right now it's just under a hundred degrees it's pretty darn hot about 104 outside I think if you never need to run <laughs> run a 12 volt refrigerator in an emergency or a power outage you can do it for 10 days with this particular battery I'll leave links to this battery and any coupon codes they give me. I'll put those in the description if you want to get more information about this particular watt cycle battery. And personally, I really like the battery. A lot of power in a small package at a reasonable weight. You know, if you're using it for a battery backup or something or camping, I think it's a really nice battery for that. If you click the video that's on the screen now, you can see another one of my videos. And I'll meet you over there.